everyone, you guys might be wondering about the objective of this video. Well, you all will soon get to know why. Today we are here to tell you about the ozone layer and its depletion as a tribute to World Ozone Day. For those who are not aware about the ozone layer, it is a sheet that is located in the Earth's stratosphere that protects us from harmful UV rays and radiation that might be harmful for our health. Wonder if ozone would not be there, the risk of skin problems, cancer, cataracts and premature aging would have increased to a larger extent. Now what exactly is ozone depletion? Ozone depletion is the gradual thinning of Earth's ozone layer. This dates back to the first time in 1974 when two young chemists, Mario Molina and Sherwood Voland, published an article detailing threats to the ozone layer caused by CFC gases that are used in aerosols, refrigerators and air conditioners. In 1985, a team of English scientists found a hole over Antarctica in the ozone layer. Apparently, this hole was an area where the ozone gas was comparatively less by about 60%. Ironically, many people regarded CFCs as miraculous substances. This was because they were inflammable, cheap to produce and stable. Ozone layer status today. Recognition to the harmful effect of CFCs had led to the Montreal Protocol in 1987 when around 197 UN countries came together for the common good. More than 30 years after the protocol was signed, a study in NASA documented a direct proof that the ozone layer was actually healing. But a recent study in 2018 showed that the ozone in the lower stratosphere has not been recovered since 1998 and there have also also been violations with the pact that was signed in 1987. If the current rate of destruction of the layer continues, Earth would be uninhabited by 2065. But uh, if we promote to conserve the ozone, Earth could heal by 2050. So this World Ozone Day, let's take an oath to eliminate people with hope, persuasion and awareness to follow and to preserve the ozone layer. Now, there are some simple steps that can be done to promote it, this feeling. First, avoid CFCs that are basically your hairsprays and cosmetics. Second, promote afforestation which basically means planting more and more trees. Third, remove rubber tires and all the rubber essentials. Fourth, aware and eliminate people with ozone layer and its destruction and the ways that you can protect it. Thank you.